Hi, Ethan. It's so nice to finally get to meet you. How are you? Um, very good. Um, just, you know, came out with a first album. Yeah, first full album called About Me. So, yeah, I'm a right now solo artist. Yes. I have to talk about About Me. It's finally out. Uh, what was the anticipation and the creative process like leading up to the album release? Because, you know, you're doing everything yourself. So was it stressful? I'm sure you're so excited and relieved it's finally out. So I want to know everything about it. Making this album was uh, with my fans called Unisons. Uh, they support me. And then, uh, well, I wanted to like talk about my, about me, just like literally, literally about me. It was very, not, I can't say easy, but it was kind of hard because making eight songs is really fast. I'm not that fast about mm. it. So I uh, released my, um, one of my, couple of my songs through um, SoundCloud and then repackage that to my full album. So it was quite, you know, it was, it was fun. How was picking the songs to go on the album? Because I know for everyone, it's really hard picking the songs. You know, you don't just have like these eight song, songs sitting there for you. Like, oh, this is all I got. You have to really like decide which ones are going on the album and the order it's going on. So were there any that didn't make the cut that you want to put on another album or next project or what are those songs where are those songs going to be if they're ever released or like how does that work for you the track list was very hard for me um first of all was airplane because that's um that should be my title because when if you like you know see the lyrics um it says about my past and my a little bit of pain in there a little bit of you know happiness a little bit of um, breaking down hard things about me. When I made Airplane and after that, making some couple of my, uh, my songs inside the album, I, I thought I have to make it um, similar to that. The whole album talks about my past, like a year about my past and about my past company. So getting into that, uh, it's I think it's really nice and refreshing to see someone share all these emotions and everything that you do with your fans because I feel like sometimes in K-pop, there's a little bit of like a curtain regarding the reality and the truths of everything that really happens. And it's not just in K-pop, I think it's in the entertainment industry in general. Why do you think it's really important for you to kind of tell the truth and share your feelings with your fans? Well, the truth needs to be the truth. That's what I think. There is, you know, lies. But regarding to that, um, I want to tell people about my truth and about what I did. Truth is, I think, it's very honest. And it makes the answer, I think. That's what I think. Sorry if I, um, my English is like, you know, I, I never used uh, English that much in here. <laughs> You're getting used to it. It's okay. I think it's something your fans definitely appreciate, obviously, going through your social media and everything and kind of uh, prepping for this interview. Everyone is definitely appreciative of you, even on Twitter. Everyone's tweeting about you. So it's really nice to see. Uh, and obviously, you've had quite a couple of years from going and tra transitioning from the group becoming a solo artist. So how do you stay motivated? Like what has that process been like? Obviously you are talking about how honest you are. You have bad days, you have good days. You know, those emotions are on the record. So what keeps Eason motivated? Uh, what, well, basically what makes me like feel alive is like, you know, I have my fans still, um, I communicate with my fans still and also, um, if I get stressed out or, you know, something's not working in my head, I go to far away from Seoul to go to like, just want to see the beach just all by myself. Just want to like heal myself. What, a, what, who am I? I'm, I'm like, keep thinking myself, who am I? What's my, 
you know, favorite thing? What's my dream? And then come, come back to um, my home and, you know, okay. You know, song makes me happy. Making songs makes me happy. Rap makes me happy. I should still do this because, um, you know, Unison is still, you know, supporting me, keeping me um, hard, uh, you know, giving me lots of love. That's what um, motivates me. Yeah. Obviously, now you're an independent artist, like we mentioned. So do you have a group of people that you share your music with or your ideas? Because obviously it's hard when you were locked in the studio doing everything and you like can't get your head out of the music. So do you kind of like take a, a breath of fresh air and you're like, all right, who can I send my music to? Who do I trust? Or are you just like, mm, we'll see what happens? Well, I think the last one you said is like 50. <laughs> and the other is like um, who um, engineered my songs and mixed and mastered my songs called Damiano. Uh, he was one of our um, company member. He really understands my songs uh, and really likes me as a person. So I really like it, him as a hyung, as a brother. Yeah. So I only trust with unison, of course, but um, Damiano, I could trust like sending songs like very comfortable. I don't know. I forgot that word. Hyung in Korean. <clears throat> Comfortable, yeah. Uh, I always like finding out that answer because I think it's really interesting to see, you know, who the solo artists who are actually making their own music and producing their music uh, have around them to help them because everyone needs a squad, right? I have to, I wanna talk to you about hosting a little bit because you've been doing your little hosting thing and that's actually how I like rediscovered you. So how has hosting been? Did you like wanna continue it? Is it exciting? Were you nervous? Cause it's, it's nerve wracking. I was very nervous first um, because I'm an artist, not an MC. So I was like, one of my friends is working there and asked me, oh, do you want to be an MC in this corner? And then I said, oh, sure, why not? But what do I have to do? Um, you know, just be an MC, read the scripts and, you know, translate it in English a little bit. I was like, okay. What is it? What's the main thing? And she says, it's about K-pop. So I was like, okay, I think I should, I need to do that because, you know, I have to study about K-pop more. Speaking on English part, it was like, oh, I need a script. <laughs> um, I can't say, you know, I can't do my like full English inside because they didn't use much uh, English, but I was really, you know, I'm born in Hawaii. But uh, what, what, what's wrong with my English? <laughs> well, you did a good job. I'm, hey, I am always very impressed by people who pick up emceeing after doing something else because for people like me, it's just it's what we do. So kudos to you. Good job. You did a great job. I hope you keep doing it. Uh, was there any like fu funny moment that happened? Did you like sneeze on camera and you were like, oops, or like forgot what you were saying? You Something crazy happened? Oh. This episode was the, I think the highest views, BF boyfriend. Um, they came out and then we interviewed and then played a game. And then the answer was Eason, but one of the members said, what's Eason? Uh, I was like, it's me. <laughs> You're like, hi, that's me. I'm him, that's, that's me. And then they all say, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay, I think, you know, it's. It could be like that, but it was very mm -hmm. funny. Next time you're gonna be like, who are you? What's your name? What? I should have said that too. <laughs> Next time you get to interact with them, you're gonna be like, who are you? What? <laughs> yeah, I should do that too. For people who are discovering you from this interview, uh, what kind of music and sound do you want to describe to get to them that you like your stuff sounds like so they can be like, oh, okay, I'll go listen. This is a good one. I'll just say K-pop and pop mixed together. So, you know, I could, cause I write lyrics on English and Korean. So pop and K-pop together. A little bit of like R&B vibe. R&B a little bit, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a little sprinkle in there. 
A little bit, yeah, a little bit. There's a little, there's a little vibey vibe in there. So guys, you have to check him out. And then obviously I want to know what's coming on, uh, coming up for your next chapter of music. What is your vision? Obviously the 1% video or special clip video is dropping soon on YouTube. Uh, I guess tomorrow or technically today for you, you know, time zones. I don't know. I'm confused always about them, but yeah, what's, what's, what's next for you? What can all your fans expect? Next will be a bit longer maybe because I have to um, go to the military soon so well I won't be quitting um, musics so after that I'll be like you know I'll be ready to make another album if I can but if it's like you know too tight for me I'll be making single digital songs yeah Maybe before I go to the military. I don't know. I think I'll try. Yeah. We're going to be getting some good new music from you. Ethan. it was so nice chatting with you. Go ahead, plug yourself so everyone can find you on social media, YouTube, social media, TikTok, Twitter, whatever you want. Plug yourself. Do it. Hey. Um, hey, guys. Um, I'm Eason. Um, from Was We In The Zone Group, um, now came out came out as a solo artist. Um, check out my Instagram, Kim Eason. Uh, YouTube, Kim Eason in, in English. Yeah, that's really it. <laughs> Thank you guys. And listen to my uh, song um, called About Me. The whole song is all super cool. I hope you guys, you know, stream it. Show, show people, this is Eason. <laughs> Thank you guys. Eason, I wish you all the best and hopefully I get to talk to you soon.